about 250 million spermatozoa have been sent to the mother's womb at a time. This number is deliberately kept high because as the spermatozoa enter to the woman's body, they find themselves facing a lot of dangers. There is a solid acid environment in the woman's reproductive organ that prevents the bacteria. This acid environment has painful effect for spermatozoa. In a few minutes, the balls of the womb are covered with the millions of dead spermatozoa. A few hours later, most of the 250 million spermatozoa die. This acid compound, which is the most important for mother's health, is so powerful that can easily destroy all the spermatozoa entered the womb. In that event, the fertilization couldn't take place and the human population would come to an end. But this danger has been prevented. While sperm is being prepared in the man's body, a basic component is added to the fluid that contains the spermatozoa. This component partially decreases the effect of the acid in the mother's womb. Thanks to this, a few thousands of spermatozoa pass the mother's womb and reach to the fallopian tubes. The spermatozoa travel all together in the same direction. But how do the unconscious spermatozoa find the right direction in a dark environment? How do they know where the ovary is no larger than a piece of a dust? As a result of this perfectly created system, the spermatozoa easily finds the way to the ovary. The ovary gives the chemical signal to the spermatozoa, which are about 15 cm away from it. The spermatozoa directs the ovary with the signal. Two cells are quite strange to each other communicate by means of this process. This reality is a proof that the ovary and the spermatozoa are created with the more suitable form for each other.